Welcome comrades, that's what Jim here, and today we're going to be continuing, we're going to be playing Tales of Berseria. Yes, I, there is a continued file, but I'm going to start a new game because, one, I ended up losing, I ended up losing a file on here that belonged to the um, previous file of the game. So I actually played Tales of Berseria a couple of times ago, but then one of the files on this game got corrupted. So Yeah. So I'm forced to actually replay this part of the episode. I know where I am, so there's no need to worry. So let's begin where it all began. The Scarlet Moon. Well, let's see what we're gonna ourselves into. Oh I know what happened, it's just that I don't know what happened, it's just that it's hard to actually redo the entire episode again since it's already happened. So not to worry. Oh, what the? <laughs> They're all rising deep in this. <laughs> so this is Velvet and Luffy said when they were kids, which is true. You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. Mm. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. Aww. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? <laughs> sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? Uh -uh. Huh. I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary. Right. But don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Luffy's older sister, and you're a student. Mm Just stay there, be good, darlings. There's no reason for you to go back. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Velvet, what she became. Oh, Jade. I forgot how dangerous she could be. On that day, the world yeah. began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. Yep. Only two the things. taste of blood-soaked flesh. 
and revenge upon one man. This is where it all began. Luffy, time to wake up. <sighs> okay. This is Velvet before. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Maybe, if you're good. Don't oh, trouble Arthur. your sister, Lafayette. Arthur. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. She'll get it herself. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Oh. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. <laughs> All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Don't Whoa, be. hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. This is Velvet's life later. before the chaos. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. All right, cares about the controls. All right. A mini match has your current surrounding and stay on the upper left of the corner of the screen. You can use it to check the locations of your next edition shops and more. Unlike the mini-map, which only displays your current surroundings, the area map shows the entire region you are currently in. Okay, additional... Okay, this shows me the objective. If I'm on the hunt for prickle oh, bars, bars I better try bars. the tranquil woods outside of town. Uh, this is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Ah. Uh, prickle bars? Okay. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so mm. much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? Probably. That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Hello. <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, mm. freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning pe I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, yeah. demons. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like yeah. someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to sure think enough. of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be oh. a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to Whoa. suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real right. idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Well, he meant it in a good way, because she probably wouldn't have survived this so-called incident. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No, not mm. yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, mm -hmm. got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. 
But sadly, that author will turn into I should probably stock negative. up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Resistant brain. Oh, three kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different kinds of items. Copper chest, consumables, silver chest, standard equipment, and gold chest, exceptional equipment. Oh. I'll just take one. <laughs> Hello. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right, uh. then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. 16 years old, and she has to take care of her brother. Poor girl. But... Life is it is the only family she has left. Literally. Tranquility Woods. Mm -hmm. This area looks promising. Not that promising. Alright, let's go. Battle tutorial, alright. Come on, get me from battle number of souls each character currently possesses. Alright. By stunning defeated enemies or inflicting status ammo upon enemies, you can get souls along with the combo. It's just like yeah, I wrote the battles. That's how it's done. Try not try to survive and try not to lose. Simple as one, two, three. The Prickabore's future. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our Prickleborn meat now. Luffy mm. and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder mm. if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkleboars? Hmm. Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. <laughs> There's another Pigglebore. A Pigglebore. At least it's still gauge when it enters the you can still attack, but you will be knocked back in terms of defense. <laughs> Like that? I want to defend, defend it. Alright. Boy! 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 <laughs> That's one. There we go. Thanks for the battle tutorial, but I got Second it now. Maxim, know your foes and strike where they're weak. Where they're weak, huh? But I don't see any weakness! There we go. Not bad. Work of our meat. Use the R's when you have no SG. Come with a number of all effects. Save point. You can save your progress in the game by pressing X while touching the save spot. Additionally, while you are exploring in the field, you can create a quick save by pressing touch to access the pause menu. 
I'm not gonna save this because I've already beaten this level. Plus, I'm also thinking about just continuing where I left off. So I'm just gonna do this. Right, here goes. And just there we go. Not bad. This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Wow. So this is the cape. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even mm. Selica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, what if it is? I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. I don't know, Velvet. It does seem a little too... convenient. Ooh, beautiful flowers. Wow, those are pretty. Walk past the pickle bar. Thank you. So good. <laughs> All right, let's head home. Whoa! Wait, the boars I hunted. Are you there? Oh dear. Maxim 3, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. All right. Hey, hearts focus on damage and attack range, but you more of your essence than martial arts. You can see this. All right. Arts. Pride and anxiety, pity for the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? This, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Oh. Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. Oh. <laughs> In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. Well, that's good to know. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. 
Oh. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. <laughs> One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No mm -hmm. way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. Oh, that's right. That's the cold logic of the world. And no emotions can change it. Oh, he's not wrong there. It's amazing to see that this guy was Do you think the person she was I could it. become an exorcist? Small spoiler. Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. Oh. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. <laughs> and Velvet leveled up. Five more meat to take home. And we'll be able to use this. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. It's a normal thing, Velvet. Don't be uh, discouraged by it. What's this all about? Oh, hello. Who's she? Nico, here for groceries? Yep. And <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Laffy Set. That is true. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but... I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? What is it? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. Oh dear. When's it coming then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? Yeah. The demons already routed them a while back. Oh, shoot. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. I guess it Poor fellow strong, couldn't even sure. protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Thanks. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice <laughs> animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please. Oh my word. This is life normal or death for talk, me. Just but I thought your folks talk. weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. <laughs> Got 
got three apple gels. Luffy must be starving by now. I better hurry home. Well, let's take a look at these. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. Mm -hmm. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, oh, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're Agreed. hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, oh, my word. up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. The grief. Let's talk Selica to you some more. taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah. Yeah. But mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic, simple yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese on the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them right. together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make no. more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it Probably. might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. Good grief. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big! Dream, Velvet! <laughs> Dream! Think big? Hmm, no thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're no, we'll impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> a simple life for a simple quiche. You gotta admit, this place is actually really beautiful. The artwork, the scenery, the beautiful... Beautiful, fast way. Really elegant. I love it. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. Princessias? I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm Aww. sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Alright, let's go. Oh, Luffy! Why out of bed? Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. <laughs> I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. Hmm. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. That is true. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. <laughs> See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? Mm-hmm. You can tell me more about it later. Normal sister relationship. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't Forget coming it. home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Sarah's? Arthur's Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malakim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. <laughs> I 
I wish... I wish I could do that. Aww. <laughs> You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Take what? Oh, 20 years tops. <laughs> it won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. <laughs> Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Man, I just love this kind of game. Right. But then it can Cooking also time. be so heartbroken. First, I need to light the stove. The day before Scarlet Night. She's almost as good a fighter, but I worry that she's too a... Maybe she should try to be more... Poor little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Oh, this is the name oh, isn't this Arthur's book? His law... <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Alright, let's see. Sugar. All right. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? What? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. Okay. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. <laughs> but but just for today? <laughs> oh, look, Reed, this is fine, so cute, fine. but this also so heartbreaking. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And it I'll really is heartbreaking. I mean, like. I'm just sitting here listening really? to the story because Thanks. I just don't want to ruin There's the moment. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Like, I'm sorry for skimming a little bit of it, but I do have time, you know. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh, so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over mm. in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, <laughs> I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Don't worry, he may be okay. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? <laughs> yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, <laughs> but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, Aww. we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. Aww. <gasps> what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. All right, let's go get dinner ready. Something terrible's gonna happen, just watch. Good boy, you didn't forget your medicine. <laughs> well, I did promise. Don't think this terrible's gonna happen. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course.
Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? He's not here, darling. You little... Where have you gone? Where did he gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. <sighs> Poor Velvet for having such a burden on herself. What's up? Hey, has Lafayette been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Oh? Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. A copy? <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Oh? Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Then where is he? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Aww. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. Oh? He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Ask him, huh? Velvet! I saw Lafayette walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He? he was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. All right. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. He must have went to the I'll cave. I'll check the forest. He must have went to the cave. I know. <laughs> he might have gone to the cape to pick flowers. That's what I was thinking. Have you seen Lafayette? Nope. Can't say that. All right. Let me know. Got it. Well, he refuses to stay. I can't say I'm surprised. He likes <laughs> reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Uh -huh. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Talies? No way. Not <laughs> happening. Even if he gets better. He can handle right. it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I couldn't handle it. I would... Poor girl. I had to skim through it a little bit because I'm running on a short schedule, so I have to be a little quick. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move. It's like they're scared of something. Could it be a demon? Hey. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be... I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching them. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity. You sure know. Luffy said taught me. Just a few... You saw Luffy? Actually, I don't know. Aww. He definitely went to the cave. On our way. All right, let's go. Tranquil Woods. Oh, Luffy. Luffy. Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you Aww. little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't yeah. be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? She's so concerned. I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy mm. big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I know. The poppies. 
Cassius. I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah. yeah. So I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. <laughs> Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good. <sighs> it's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Right, let's go. A memory of the princessias. What does the princessias mean? Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You <laughs> ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? <laughs> You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's mm -hmm. quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. Yeah. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. <laughs> That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, yeah. an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely. <sighs> yeah. Me too. Yeah, but even that has a sad ending to it. Apple Boo. Apple Boo? How about apple I make boo? you some Apple Boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple Boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, it's sweet and yeah. tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! <laughs> <sighs> a normal family. Good grief. I'm sorry I'm not talking so much. I just like to hear the story about it myself. Just look at I don't like these. participating with you all. But even this story has a sad, has a sad ending to this <sighs> chapter. This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across mm -hmm. the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Oh, what's going on? Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Tell me, please. Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Mm -hmm. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to. Uh. What's up? A oh. demon! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! How's she gonna fight something like that? Why is a demon here? I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please, go! Don't think so far. Come on. Huh? I'm it. Ow. It's just like 
Arthur said. Uh, I have to do this! Oh! Uh, 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 oh. Stop! Face me, demon! Poppy, no! What the? Oh. And that's where we lose vision. The Scarlet Knight. <gasps> Whoa, the scar How? How did I get home? Velvet! Luffy! You're all right! Ah! <sighs> Sorry, it's all my fault. No, if you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Aww. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. Thank you, Luffy. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. What does she mean? What does he mean by that? Alright, hold on everyone. Alright, sorry about that. Let's continue. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! You think... Galafi says comb. Oh no. <laughs> Demons at the house? No. Run. Fluffy, where are you? What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. The village. No, the village. Everyone. Happen of all times. Fine, Luffy said. Okay. Don't give up. Never give up. How am I gonna get around these boys? Okay, that's how I got around them. Go, 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 Precaution. Luffy! Arthur! Oh, no. It's not gonna end well. You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. What do you mean? Velvet, run! Arthur! <laughs> what the? <laughs> 
Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. Oh. With Lachis's life as a sacrifice. Oh. No! What are you saying? And right in front of Velvet. Eyes of terror. Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Oh no. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. What do you mean? No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion. Wow. thing that she saw that night. Feeds on demons. Atherian. Arthur. Atherian. Mm -hmm. Arthur! They just love to get in my way, don't they? One dangerous arm. Take a look around. <gasps> the 
the villagers. <laughs> Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Oh. Series? Now more molecules appear. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Although battle that will uh, attack less frequently over less okay. Basically the less frequency. So uh, did my world come to an end? No. It only begun and for three long years. I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Three years she's been in this prison. And she's been in pain for so long. Series? Why is she here? Where is he? All right. First, there will be a test. It oh. will decide if you are worth teaching. Battle tutorial. Get down on him with the target. Burning wing! Burning wing! Come on. How could this happen? Alright, now see you enough. If it's all while well, defending, you will perform a quick the quick ability to spin a small amount of SP to dash in the direction of pass on. And you'll be able to perform during a combat if you perform a quick assist before an enemy pass, you have only do one damage. You will recover some SG, additionally, a soul may appear. Collecting the soul. Now that's know. what happens. I will kill you. Ready yourself. <laughs> Look how long her hair is. Look how long her hair is. Here I go. 
Got a little more spunk in you than I thought. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of hmm. course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. Oh. I am his Moloch no longer. Oh. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Oh? Tell me where Artorius is. Ooh. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. Fair enough. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. Oh? That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Hmm. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. Fair a enough. shield to guard the people and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. Hmm. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. Indeed, but his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Well, that's all I Why need to are know. you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. I love her dress. Jeez. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. Shattered your yoke. We must hurry. All right. All the more reason to get out of here. Provide the ability to equipment to trigger a random skill. Okay. Attack. Effect. Measure damage. Our attack. Event. Damage. Our defensive focus. Okay. So kicks and arts. Victorious sap and attacks. All right. Place, you will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Good. Because I really need to catch up on my fashion, you know. to read that. No one raised the alarm. I can Good. see that. Take what you need from here. All right. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. A rope. This will be useful. All right. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Storm Howl. What is it doing here? All right. Well, it's too big for me. You're oh. not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Ooh, I like Velvet. She only takes what she needs. Oh. Wow, I like her tear. Not bad. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Looks like we're gonna be entering combat. Let's go. Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. He's nothing. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? 
So you already know we're on an island. Fair enough. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Mm -hmm. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Mm -hmm. Got it. The back docks. Well, that is the end of this episode. I'm really grateful that y'all managed to join me in this series of Tales of Azuria, but like I said, Tales of Azuria, we have, I have already managed to record seven episodes of this so far, so this is like the very first episode of where it all began. I'm grateful that y'all enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. It really means lots of me to do that. Also subscribe, totally free. Really, free. Don't think of the day where we're great. Check out some of the videos you think you might like. And stay shiny, my, and stay shiny, my darling little gems. Goodbye, everybody. You're all dismissed.